Hey, this morning we're wrapping up a brief two-part series called Give It Up. And to help illustrate or help you understand where we're headed today, I brought these flowers with me. Uh, suppose uh, that I went and got my wife some flowers like this. A dozen red roses. You know, guys, how you spend the time just picking out just the right color. You know the drill. And suppose I took, my, took these flowers home to my wife and I gave them to her and she's just blown away, right? And she's just like, oh, and she runs and gets a vase and she puts them in the vase and she just goes, honey, it just means so much to me that you were thinking of me. I just, I feel so special. And suppose I said to her, I'm your husband, it's my duty. It just doesn't work for her then, does it? Or suppose I said, you know what, I was out and I saw them and they were cheap, it was, wasn't a big deal. It, I really even wasn't thinking of you, it's, it was no hassle, so I went ahead and did it. Or suppose I just said, you know what, I just, I thought you needed them. Does she even want the flowers then? No. Why? Because she wants my heart. If she doesn't have my heart, then my words and my actions don't mean a thing. Does God feel that way? I mean, last week we sang a song. It was based on a prayer of Jesus that he prayed this. We can read it right in Scripture. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. I mean, we could go to church every day of the week. We could go to prayer meetings. We could go to Bible studies. We can pray all the right prayers. We can sing all the right songs. But if God doesn't have our hearts, then what's the point? In the book of Isaiah, God says this. God says, these people, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. How about when it comes to giving? Do you give to the church? Do you give to charities? Do you give to the work of God? Why? So you can get God off your back? So you can feel a little better about yourself? Do you give God like a certain percentage of your income? And then you say, all right, good, then God's got what he wants and I can just do the rest, whatever, do whatever I want with it. See, if you're given out of guilt or because you feel like you ought to or you're supposed to, then I think God would say to us, kind of like the flowers, I'd rather you keep it because I want your heart. And when God has our heart, then we begin to understand that everything we have has been given to us by Him to begin with. See, what God says is, I don't want the empty ritual. I want your heart. So with that as kind of our framework this morning, would you stand with me? We're going to enter into a time of worship. And I want to invite you during this time just to say to God, God, I give you my heart. God, I'm not here because I feel like I have to be or to get you off my back for this week or the things I'm about to engage in, God, because I ought to. God, I'm here because I love you. And I want you to know that you have my heart. So you just worship him this morning. Just worship God extravagantly and say, God, here's my heart.